New tonight, a Central Park fixture on the verge of closing has canceled its event scheduled for next year. And that has left brides and grooms who have deposits down for weddings in a frenzy. They're sharing their experience now with CBS 2's Jenna DeAngelis. Every couple has places at the heart of their love story. For Alexandra Razi and AJ Lemkul, that's Central Park. The park is so integral to who we are and how we interact with the city, and it was really important for us to be able to uh, kind of incorporate it and, and have it be a part of our story. With that said, getting married at the park's picturesque low boathouse felt like the perfect fit. They booked their wedding for April 2023 and started planning, only to recently find out change of plans, it's apparently closing. I'm smiling just to keep from crying. So I found out, like the rest of the world found out, which was on, you know, through, through the news, I didn't find out from the Bow House. There are conflicting reports tonight on the fate of the Loeb Boathouse in Central Park. As we reported in July, the Boathouse operator filed this notice stating on October 16th it would be closing due to rising labor and costs of goods. The worried couple immediately reached out and got an email asking for patience. A week and a half later, receiving another email stating the Boathouse will no longer be hosting events as of January 1st and Monday would be returned in a timely manner. We're in there for like 10 grand. I'm going to fight like hell to get it back. I mean, we can't move forward with another wedding without that money. I've spoken with several brides about this. One said she just had a phone conversation with the man who runs the boathouse about getting her money back. Others say they're still waiting for their phone calls to be returned. Both my fiance and I called and left messages. We've been calling, but we actually we haven't been able to get anyone on the phone. Since the low boathouse is owned by the city, the Parks Department said it's searching for a new operator. Its current operator, Dean Pohl, told me in a brief phone call every deposit will be returned. He wouldn't answer any questions about closing and said it possibly won't be. Either way, this couple has had enough. Give me my money and let me move on. In Central Park, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS2 News.